Hello everyone. It's about uh, 6.45 a.m. Thursday, January the 28th, uh, 2016. And this is DelrayVAWeather.com. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a winter update uh, this morning, uh, show you what I'm seeing. Uh, for the next um, probably 10 days, uh, it should be relatively uh, snow-free uh, for the uh, Alexandria uh, area, but uh, I want to show you a few things of what what we have here. Okay, what you see here is the latest uh, uh, GFS uh, mediagram. It's um, uh, uh, showing of uh, you know, the next uh, ten days basically, and um, what we're seeing here is you see on the bottom um, of the mediagram you'll see this uh, this line. This is a, the potential total snow during the period. And if you notice, it's white here and then turns to gray uh, sometime in the, in the Friday uh, uh, time range, uh, late Friday. Uh, the, um, uh, you know, when you look at, the, uh, at a number of, of the soundings, it's showing that we could have some uh, snowflakes uh, tomorrow. Um, the, the sounding over National Airport is showing sometime between 1 a.m. and uh, and 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, but it is conceivable it could be later in the day Friday. It's really not going to have any accumulation, just conversational uh, snowflakes, but it's something you shouldn't, shouldn't be surprised uh, uh, about. And I'm going to keep an eye on this just to make sure it doesn't overproduce uh, like uh, we had uh, the Thursday before the blizzard. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay, the GFS is showing some unusual uh, temperatures uh, next Wednesday. Uh, it's showing a high right now of 68. That actually could go to 70. Um, it's, uh, it's quite possible we would see 70 degrees uh, as a high uh, in, um, uh, on Wednesday. Okay, this is the uh, uh, GFS, GEFS. Uh, diagram and this is the uh, uh, global ensemble forecasting system it's uh, a, a way of looking at uh, a lot of different model runs of the GFS uh, with slightly different parameters and then seeing what uh, what the probabilities uh, are of uh, any particular outcome I have this set for the probability of having uh, snow in, uh, accumulation that is um, uh, greater than um, one inch, and uh, if you, I uh, have it currently set f for out to February the 10th, and if you uh, DC uh, uh, area is right here where I'm circling with the arrow, and it's actually showing by the 10th of February, we could very well get uh, a snowfall over an inch. Uh, at about a 40 to 50 percent uh, probability. That's a significant probability. So it's saying that uh, you know winter isn't over, uh, even though we got a lot of snow uh, with this blizzard. That uh, we still have a pretty good uh, chance of getting more snow. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the uh, European uh, model mediagram. Uh, it's in in, the, in their mediagram, it shows no snow at all, not, not even conversational snowflakes uh, uh, for the next 10 days. It also shows a lower high for Wednesday, and uh, it's possible that uh, uh, the, um, the Wednesday high will be only in the low 60s. So it's something to keep in mind. Uh, I, I know you're seeing a lot of... Um, uh, TV meteorologist talking about the upper 60s, but it's quite possible because we're going to have rain that day. It's going to cloud over, and depending upon when the uh, the rain starts, it could conceivably be a lower high. Again, something just to keep in mind. Okay, this is the European model um, a snow uh, uh, accumulated snow mediagram out out till uh, February the 7th. And um, it again is showing a fairly low probability of uh, having snow uh, between now and the 7th of February. But there are chances. There are, there are a number of ensemble uh, members that are showing uh, uh, snow after the 5th. 
Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can say that before the 5th, there, there's probably not going to be a chance of snow. But there's a, a chance um, between the 5th and the 7th. Uh, a non, you know, it's it's not zero chance. It's going to be uh, uh, some some probability here. Okay, this again, this is the European uh, model, but this is, uh, it goes out uh, further than the one I just showed you. It goes goes out 40, uh, I think 45 days. And it shows you the probabilities of having a, uh, a, a, a snow in excess of, uh, or a total accumulation of about five inches. The mean actually is showing, uh, uh, certainly by uh, early March, uh, uh, that we'd get a, an additional five inches. And that's the mean. You could be above it or below it. And if you look at this ensemble uh, here, uh, the uh, probability of having more snow goes up after the 11th of February. So uh, from uh, February the 11th, about mid-February, uh, to uh, the first week in March, there's a, there's a significant chance we're going to get more snow. Okay, I want to show you this. This is the College of DuPage Next Gen Weather Lab, and I currently have it set uh, uh, for the show precipitation. And um, right now, this is the setting uh, for February the 10th. And uh, D.C. Uh, and uh, Virginia are right in this general area. It's hard to see with all the red color. But um, I've been watching this uh, low pressure area over the last probably four or five days. In fact, I even mentioned that it looked like we might get a, a uh, disruptive snowstorm uh, in the uh, February 10th through the 15th or 14th uh, period. This is the storm I've been keeping an eye on. And it, it's uh, interesting, in each, um, each uh, model run, uh, it, it, it changes position. Uh, what you're seeing currently is the, um, uh, the, the latest um, GFS run uh, set for uh, midday on Wednesday, February the 10th. And in this scenario, uh, it would only be rain. Uh, very little chance of, uh, of, uh, of a, uh, any snow, possibly a winter mix. But right here, it is showing more of, a, of just the rain event. But if we move this around for some other model runs, let me see if I can do this. We have 18Z, February 10th. Just want to show you some of the other model runs that I'm seeing. Okay, this is the uh, the um, uh, midnight uh, run of the um, of the model. And we're going to bump this up to. Let's see if I can get. Okay, I'm going to just move this around a little bit. If you look at that, this low here, this is the low we're talking about right here uh, that we're watching. And if you move this a little bit, you're going to see this low is up uh, across the Illinois on the uh, 9th and then moves up a little bit like this. Now, if we move this back uh, basically 12 hours and do the same thing, You're going to see that that, uh, that low, it's hard to see because it, it's a little further out, but that low is a little further south uh, than what was uh, shown before. Uh, Illinois is right here, but the center of the low is actually down quite low. So this has been moving back and forth, up and down like this uh, over the last um, at least two days. Uh, very low confidence about where this... Um, uh, low is um, going to end up. But if it tr starts trending south and goes over um, uh, uh, northern uh, Louisiana, like it's sort of doing here, or uh, down here uh, close to the Gulf Coast, that's when we have the potential of this duplicating what we had in the last, uh, with the last blizzard. So are we going to have another blizzard sometime between February 10th and the, and the 14th? I don't know. Uh, at this time, the the latest model run says, no, we're fine, no problem. But we need to keep an eye on this one. And this, uh, because this is bouncing around so much, 
it's it's going to be pr we're going to have to get pretty close to the event probably uh, maybe midweek to end of the the week uh, 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 next week but uh, definitely that's what I'm watching right now so I'm going to wrap it up there and um, so as far as the next 10 days I don't think you have to worry about uh, anything um, we're going to get rain on that uh, Wednesday, next Wednesday, and the temperatures are going to be pretty high. So a good por part of all the snow, uh, the blizzard, uh, that fell in the blizzard, is going to melt. Uh, it's probably going to all, all be gone except the, the biggest massive piles uh, uh, probably by Thursday morning. Okay, if you have any questions, just give me a tweet, at Pat Penn, that's P-A-T-P-E-N-D, and I'll try and answer them. Thanks.